Hello friends. First thing we'll do in our little update tour here is um, let's just take a look at uh, Adventure Point and talk about it a minute. This is a park that I haven't um, visited in quite a while and, and it's really the one of the main reasons I decided to do this update video um, because I, I really uh, started to get a lot of messages on it here lately. Um, you know, in this park in particular, like, please go back to this park, or, man, S. Dan Wolf, you should go back, and, you know, we want to see another episode of Adventure Point. Well, the thing about it is, I've just really, um, I don't want to say I've lost interest in the park, but I, it's just gotten to the point where it's almost so, um, it's expanded so quick that, um, I don't really... And not that I've run out of ideas. Oh, listen, the, the Pirate Cove area come out great, right? Like, I was firing on all cylinders when I made this part. I had just uh, just come off of the Flying Dutchman, uh, found it an awesome spot right here. Um, kind of made a crappy Manta coaster to go with uh, Chiapas' um, layout here. But still, you know, it, it come out okay. The problem with Adventure Point, if I am, um, if I'm being totally honest, is, or really, I guess, what caused me to uh, t to lose the most interest in it was probably Star Wars Land. <laughs> and I hate to say it as much as I love Star Wars. Um, I, I like I've mentioned before, maybe I'll go back one day and maybe try to redo the path or redo the layout got Ray's garage here um it all just felt uh a little forced to me kind of rushed um I I feel like I built it just to be building it um and never never really got back in here to lay down the launch coaster that I wanted to and stuff so honestly right now um, at Adventure Point is just kind of on a hiatus. Uh, just don't really have any major plans for it at the moment. Don't know what to start next. I know you guys had some pretty good suggestions about like a jungle mine theme type area. Eh, you know, uh, that is a really good idea and I, and I really was going to roll with it for a while, but then uh, Pride Rock start, Pride Rock Park started back up, Bristol Motor Speedway, um, and that you know doing different vehicles and different standalone buildings, that has really kind of taken up taken up a lot of the time and just the overall lag of this park um, has really made me uh, shy away from it here lately. So, you never know, it, it'll be something I think maybe we'll eventually jump back into, but for right now, just going to leave it on the afterburners. It'll be something I'll go back to, like, once some more stuff is finished up, so didn't want to leave you guys in the dark anymore about this, um, but yeah, for right now, I've kind of gotten the ideas out I've wanted to get out, um, I've practiced with what I've wanted to practice with. And, uh, yeah, guys, so all hope is not lost for, uh, Adventure Point. It is just, uh, just at a stopping point right now. So the map is still active. It's not locked up on me. I can still build in it, albeit very slowly. Like when you click on a new wall piece, it, it's got about a two or three second hesitation before it clicks on the new wall piece. So, not all hope is lost. We'll, we'll go back to it eventually one day, but that is where this sets as of right now. So let's move on to the next project we got going on. Hold on one sec. All right, guys, in this next one, obviously, uh, Bristol Motor Speedway. I, uh, I won't show you too much of this one just right off the bat because it's not really finished. Um, got a lot of, man, these guys are flying. <laughs> got a lot. Let's ride along here a minute. Um, Got a lot of detail left to do. Um, a lot of lights to put in. A lot of barrier fencing. Um, not totally sure if I'll leave the... Uh, <laughs> man, these guys are hauling ass. Not sure if I'll leave the um, the pit road. 
um, that way. You see that brown part on the wall there. Got to fix that. Just got to do a lot of tidying up and a lot of cleaning up. And um, should maybe have this out by this weekend. I know Bristol just totally... If you, if you keep up with NASCAR, totally sucked this weekend with all the rain. Uh, they actually didn't even get to race it until Monday at 1 o'clock. And uh, so I was hoping to release that this weekend, but with all the stuff... Uh-oh, we're under the stands. <laughs> with all the stuff going on um, at the racetrack and with my job and everything, I live about 20 minutes from Bristol. Um, it was just kind of too crazy to really get in there and... Uh, and, you know, um, and mess with this stuff and finish this up. So it'll have a little bit of a delayed finish. But um, I am definitely, uh, definitely, you know, in, in the last stretch here, um, I've just got to add in the South Grandstand and um, then really start on the detailing and, and see, uh, you know, see, see what else I want to add here if I want to change this, uh, this, uh, this pit road up. So the bull ring, it is coming along pretty nice. Just got to finish getting it enclosed. Oh, well, let me show you it at night, too. This thing really comes to life at night. Yeah. See? Got all the lights up. Food City 500, Earnhardt Terrace, Allison Terrace, Waltrip Terrace. And those are actually not in the correct order. Cole Wiki Terrace, um, as in the act as actual Bristol is. The Earnhardt Terrace is way over that way, and... Yeah, but anyways, you you guys get the idea. We we've we've uh, I think it's 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 made a uh, pretty pretty cool little uh, pretty cool idea for the go kart track. So, anyways, guys, we'll jump on out of here and uh, and I'll put a feature video out of this. You know, sometime either this weekend or next week, uh, put something together and le and let you guys actually see it. So, and then you know probably put it on the workshop, not as an actual uh, item. It'll have to be a park because I believe right now. Let's just see. Yeah, see, it's 7,664 pieces, and there's no south entrance yet, even. So, <laughs> it's got a little bit left to do, but anyways, let's jump on out of here, and we will go on to the next one. Hold on one sec. All right, guys, you know where we're at, Pride Rock Park. Um, probably won't, you know, don't really, I guess it's not necessary to show you guys this a whole lot either, because... Um, this series is so new that um, I know a lot of you guys have been uh, commenting on it and, and really have been uh, really, really digging Pride Rock. So for any of the new people out there that might just be catching on to this, um, this is actually a uh, Lion King, obviously Pride Rock, um, kind of th designed uh, Disney park. So I know probably one of the glaring things you'll notice is uh, <laughs> Disney would never have just a... Uh, a wide open kind of unthemed launch coaster. So this, I kind of got my inspiration from Bush Gardens and Cheetah Hunt. Um, I've just named mine Cheetah Run, and you know, loosely based off of a uh, off of Cheetah Hunt. Here you have the initial launch, and then the uh, you know this half helix section, and then up to the uh, you know kind of slowly makes its way around uh, to the first drop. So yeah, that's just kind of a. Kind of what we got going on with this. Got the park's first coaster in place, and we'll watch us do this first drop. But really, really fun park. Uh, need to start working on, um, see how smooth this goes through. I like it. It's it's pretty smooth, pretty believable. And it kind of goes through a double corkscrew. But anyways, um, yeah, next part, when I jump back on this, which I haven't even, you're looking at this live, like right now, it's uh, it's Tuesday night, April 25th. This is exactly how the park's set. So there's not a later version of this, and I'm only showing you this. I, I probably haven't worked on this park uh, probably in a week or two uh, since I actually probably finished Rhino Raft's entrance facade. And it's going to be a Congo River Rapids, um, you know, t type, t type water ride. So water raft ride, so. Yeah, that's what'll uh, eventually will uh, will take up this spot right here. Got to do the terraforming and and get that ride put in. But should be interesting with the collision detection gone now. I should uh, should be able to come up with you guys a pretty interesting um, layout on that. And as far as down here goes, 
Um, this is kind of like the end of the Main Street area. I mean, not technically the end, but physically right now, this is the end. And I hope to, uh, hope to add more buildings um, down this way to uh, Cheetah Run's entrance and then skip across the road and probably have some out that way. But this is just kind of your... Uh, main entrance area where you can kind of branch off hopefully to have an episode i want to build like a big um maybe african style restaurant here at the uh, at the end of this uh, roundabout and so at the end of that plaza wanted to end up doing some kind of restaurant but a lot of stuff to do on this map so i'll go ahead and jump on out of here and we'll jump to the next one and don't forget to uh you know if you want to keep up with this i've got a few episodes i think i'm up to four episodes on pride rock now you can check out so jump on there and tell me what you think and let's skip on to the next one <laughs> another really fun project guys this is all like everything i would say everything you see here is a direct has a direct correlation to togo fan <laughs> he's a user that um in his adirondack park um, actually put together um, a, kind of a slide that looks like this. I, mean, I don't remember if it was a water slide or if it was actually like a dry run slide um, for little kids and stuff. But the, from the moment I saw that, I don't know if it was on the Planet Coaster forums or Shy Guys World, that really motivated motivated me to go back and try the water park whole thing. And I, uh, because I had tried a water park two way back in the alpha and you should see a little card pop up about right now. <laughs> and that, if you want to check that out, that is uh, my water park series. I started that water park before we even had water. So this kind of thing, this has been on my radar a, uh, a long time and this whole park it's kind of just morphed into like a uh, a big experiment because you can even see right here i have uh, i even experimented with uh, some pandora style floating mountains so this isn't technically like a park project i'm showing you all this is more like my water park go-to um, where I can keep all of my water park ideas in one place. And like a lot of you all, um, hopefully one day uh, we will get a proper water park expansion or freestanding game. I don't know. I, I, I would probably highly speculate that it would come as an expansion to Planet Coaster and um, wouldn't really see them going off and doing a totally game on its own of water parks. Because, you know, I just don't really think that's their, that's not their core MO here. But, you know, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm having, I'm have you, you see also too, um, I have put a video out about Planet Safari, which I think could possibly be its own game because Frontier is, um, they are really, been really keen for many, many years on the Zoo Tycoon type games. So, I mean, I don't know, you've. You sit here and listen to me say, oh, they'll never do a standalone, you know, water park game. But, you know, who am I to say? I mean, we might be getting a standalone zoo game, zoo tycoon game from them. So, you know, who knows? But anyways, yeah, this wanted to jump in here and show you this really fun little park. Um, you know, shout out to all you guys, the whole wolf pack for uh, pumping out ideas and telling me, oh, man, S. Dan Wolf, you need to try this. Go go back into the water park and see if you can make this kind of slide or why don't you try to do this? I mean, we've even got like a, let me show you this. We even did like a, a makeshift uh, lazy river with little cabanas right here. Um, I come up with you kind of float underneath this little tunnel over here and you can get out and rinse your little cabanas with, uh, you know, what you'd think maybe like some fans and couches and stuff up in there to you know, get out of the sun, and right here we've got like a, a, it's called Shark's Reef, it's like a little snorkeling area, and you have the uh, the gift shop and the entrance, and then you actually come back here, and that's where you get fitted for your uh, snorkeling and your, and your, um, your fins, and then you make your way down the stairs, and you can actually snorkel out here into my little makeshift coral reef area, so that is Shark Reef, and also, too, I wanted to do, like, a, another little nod to uh, Typhoon Lagoon, where it looks like the um, lifeguard tower here is being toppled over like a big storm hit, and we've got the cord 
that's barely holding it on with the uh, with the anchor embedded into the ship. So I thought that was a pretty cool touch to just put in here, like if people were walking around and snorkeling. So, but anyways, guys, yeah. Let me. Um, what I'll do is I'll jump out of here real quick, and I will look around, see what else I have going on, see if there's anything I haven't showed you yet, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, guys, this is a fun one. Um, if you don't know by now, um, a couple about a month or so ago, I started the uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train Coaster, Mine Train Ride from Disney World in Orlando. Um, started to move forward on it. Um, I've kind of hit a little bit of a stop right now um, because SP Ridley's probably going to help me with some of the animatronics. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. He's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, so we haven't really found a lot of time to get together and smash out a lot of these details and how we want to um, lay the inside of the cave out and where we're going to, you know, put the animatronics and how they look yet. So really kind of in the early stages of kind of negotiating all that. But um, I went ahead and started this part um, leading up to that. And uh, yeah, like you can see, we've... Uh, Started a lot of this, got the main lift hill going, got the first little, uh, first couple drops and little undulations here, and I have basically stopped right here at the break run that is going to take you into the cave, and you know, this part right here will probably actually turn off, uh, you know, because in the real ride, it bends off to the left, and uh, then it, it starts through the whole dark section until it gets to the second lift hill, which will, uh, you know, culminates to the biggest drop of the ride um, back here on the back side where it actually drops down. Um, does, a, does a pretty cool banking drop to the right, then rises back up and goes across a bridge um, from what you just come under. So, like I said, this is still in the works. Um, just kind of waiting until, uh, like I mentioned, me and SP Ridley can sync up, start hammering out some of these details, and, uh, you know, I'll start looking at some of his, uh, some of his dwarf prototypes, uh, you know, the deer, the jewels, we got to get all the lighting fixed for the indoor dark section. And, um, you know, there's a lot of logistics that go into it to try to see what'll look better. Um, I hate to break rides up, but if we don't have enough room to make it look right underneath the actual mountain might have to be one of those cut scenes where we have to make, um, the dark section over here off to the side. We will end up doing whatever looks best, but um, if I can, I like it. I, I'd like to keep it a uh, the whole natural ride to where the tunnel in the dark section is actually um, all here together. Because I, I don't like splitting up rides just to make a dark section. I want it to be one whole ride um, if we can work it out like that. And that may even entail... Um, either completely starting over because we know we have the layout now or um, just trying to raise a lot of this scenery to give enough clearance inside the tunnel um, and you need for that minute and a half uh, to, to two minutes probably not even two minutes long uh, dark section so yeah guys that is what is going on with seven dwarfs mine train so look out for that uh, probably another thing, I know I keep cameraing this, but, uh, another thing coming into this summer, it's going to be a real exciting summer, and, uh, yeah, that is what I have to show on this right now, so let's go ahead, and I believe we're jumping over to the last one, a little idea I want to run by you guys, something I started way back in October, so hold on one sec for that. All right, guys, I think this is the last one I had to show you. And actually, this was uh, definitely pre-release. I was kind of going through some of my old saves and just trying to, you know, just look at some of them that, you know, I might still come back to. And I wanted to show you this because I don't know if I'll actually come back to this because the layout is, you know, there's already so much has went on with it. But this was back, it says the last time I was in this park was uh, October 10th of 2016 so i don't know um if i will continue this or um probably get your guys's feedback i think what, what would probably be best for all of us now is for me to go ahead and um start a brand new 
indoor park um, with the practice that I've got and the better skill that I have with the game now and the scenery and, you know, just knowing my way around the game um, and, and knowing my knowing my way around the pieces and what I think works best and, and what you guys really like. Um, it would be really cool to just start a brand new indoor park. And, uh, you know, that might be something, uh, might be a cool series for us to dive into this summer, maybe. Um, I know we got our Main Street series that's, uh, that's going on. Um, probably do another, got another build coming up for it. Haven't picked, you guys have knocked it out of the park with suggestions. I, you know, I always act surprised like you're not going to, and you always do. Um, I got a lot of great suggestions, so I don't know what I'm going to do first. Um, if, if I don't pick your idea first, it's not necessarily, I'm picking this idea because this is the one that's the best one. It's just the one that, uh, that fits right now with, uh, you know, with what I got going on or what kind of mood I'm in to, to, to work and, and the style that I'm going for. Cause a lot of this stuff, this game, I'm really moody about, like sometimes I'll feel like playing it for like 20 hours straight and other times I won't want to touch it for like two weeks I just I get, I get into these weird kind of creative blocks where like I said I just I want to just I don't even I want to play Call of Duty again or um, you know Stronghold Crusader Command and Conquer City Skylines I'll play all kinds of stuff and won't even touch this so I'm kind of getting back into a little bit of a planet coaster flow right now and uh you know, we'll just have to see how it goes, but uh, definitely I'm um, excited about the new series that's starting up, the Main Street series. If you guys haven't caught that, um, go down a couple videos and check out the Forge um, motorcycle dealership, and that is the start of, of a new Main Street series where we're just going to go down the whole line and try to build us a... Uh, an epic looking main street but also let me know your thoughts about me starting a, a you know a proper indoor park now that we're you know post release and i've got everything you know i've got all the pieces we're gonna have um so far um also don't forget big news we heard this week that um planet coaster is actually going to get a box set i believe it drops may 23rd is what some of the real retail, uh, retailers have either leaked or or they have said that that they're um that's when it is going to be released and we heard i uh, believe that they responded on the official planet coaster twitter that it is not just going to be a, a box with a steam key code um it is going to be an actual hard disk so don't really know how that's going to work with steam i um, haven't really got any um, official information other than that tweet that come out but it will actually be a cd and one of the ceos from the one of the companies that's distributing the actual cd um had mentioned i don't know if he's just saying this to kind of hype up sales for that company but he said there may be extra goodies involved with the uh with the actual hard disk so it, it makes me interested right off the bat and i know it really wouldn't make any sense for me to buy the hard disk because i already have the uh you know i already have the game through steam but if it helps if it helps frontier and it shows support and i can actually set that planet coaster box on my desk here i mean i think it'd be worth it and plus if i don't like if somebody i know here wants to play it i could always just give them the cd and keep the box and you know, I mean, that's, I don't, you don't, there's not really <laughs> hardly any Planet Coaster merchandise unless you actually, like, make it yourself or, like, Frontier actually mails you out, like, a signed poster or signed merchandise. So this is our chance to get our hands on an actual um, game case uh, that you can keep forever. So I think it's pretty cool. I might look into it and, um, I mean, what is it, like 40 bucks or something now? I think they've got it on sale for, so 35, 40 bucks. So probably be something I'll look into. But um, anyways, leave me, leave me a comment section down. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below about, uh, like I said, what you think about an indoor park and what you think about all these parks in general. And, uh, you know, just give me a recap and be specific on the park that you want to see more from, what you'd like to see going forward, not just with these parks, but with the channel. If there's something that one of your creators out there has not made and you'd like to see me try it or you'd like to see someone try it, uh, give me a shout out and we will try to... Uh, 
you know, try to put that together and, and, uh, and see if I can see if I can get that going for you. So anyways, guys, yeah, this is, uh, this is S. Dan Wolf. Thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out and watching these videos and smashing that like button and hit the subscribe button. If you still want to come hang out with me, <laughs> if you enjoy this bit of weirdness in your day. So anyways, guys, I'm going to jump on out of here. Thank you. Thank you again. And I will catch you in my next video. See you. Hey. Hey.